Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here, and I am back with another StarCraft 2 1 vs 1 bot AI cast. We have got ourselves what should be a good one here today, as it's another couple of top bots. One that I haven't cast in a while, which is unfortunate, because it is a great bot. Currently ranked number 3 out of all the bots. It is Evil Zoe, and taking on Zoe, it is going to be V.E. Terran, Veteran, however you want to pronounce it. The bot author hasn't come out and told me how yet, <laughs> and so until that day, we'll just uh, go <laughs> go with whatever flows. And so we're on the map Golden Aura, the AI edition today, and... Ladies and gentlemen, before we get too far into this video, you guys are the best at it. Make sure to go ahead and slap that like button. Take a look at how many likes are on this video and add one more. While you're down there, leave a comment that says more bots if you want to see more of these bots. Um, I've got a little bit busy again, but since you guys enjoy these videos so much, I'm trying to make the time to do one every day if I can. And so... Let's take a look here. We have got a pretty normal Zerg build going up against a Terran that's going double gas against a Zerg. Now, it's not really a Terran against a Zerg. It's a bot against another Zerg bot. So the script kind of gets thrown out the window. And so we've got Veteran going for a completely unorthodox TVZ build. We'll see what it's going to go for. Looks like it's got that factory on the way. I'm curious if we're going to see two Reapers or not. Or if it's just saving that gas up for something else. And then let's take a look here. We have got a mule getting dropped. Two Marines on the way, so it is saving the gas. I feel I've seen Veteran do this build at least once before. Now Evil Zoe just going to be going for a normal Zerg expansion. So nothing too evil just yet. But... Anyway, we have got, yeah, just normal Zerg stuff. No link speed on the way. Quite a delayed gas, but link speed timings aren't quite, aren't quite all an, a be-all as far as bot go, bots goes. Anyway, we don't have many bots that go for, say, I don't know, like a three-minute link speed flood, something like that. It's just uh, not, not really programmable or not easily imaginable, I imagine. Instead, these bot authors spend a lot of their time and effort developing these incredibly well-rounded bots for more of a return than just sort of the one-hit wonder AIs. As we have seen some of those in the past, bots that do one strategy particularly well, but then eventually all the bot authors update their bots, and then all of a sudden that, that gimmicky bot really falls off. And that's why we have such well-rounded bots today. We do have Veteran going for a good number of Marines, a tank, and a Medivac. So going for a one-base push to start things off. I didn't read out its chat, its chat tag at the start, but it's saying strategy brute force. And so sh I should not be surprised that there's going to be a little bit of aggression here. We have got a Roach Warren on the way for Evil Zoe. So getting the means to make a defense. But this is about as early of a push as a Terran can have. This is not something Terran goes for against Zerg. Because Zerg's base defensive tools are really good at scouting and defending a one base Terran without really much loss at all. And that's why Terrans can't one base against Zerg. They just can't get enough damage done. Unless it's like a five racks marine, but that's more of a cheese than a one base. So what do we have here? We have got the ten marines for veteran moving out on the map, starting to pressure that third base. There is three queens here, so and in a fight, I think three queens does pretty well against ten marines. However, when there's a medivac supporting them, that's a completely different story. These sisters are getting pushed to the edge of creep. However, it's just one bold marine completely runs by those queens, and now. This medivac is healing up these boys, keeping them nice and strong. There should be that tank crossing the map, I imagine. There's actually two tanks, pardon me. That's really going to cause problems for these handful of roaches when your one or two roaches are getting one-shot by tanks. Well, not one-shot, but getting popped off by tanks. It really causes problems. However, as we take a look, most of the buffer is gone for these siege tanks. The marines got a little too overzealous here. And so these tanks really are completely undefended, and actually the roaches are going to get right on top of them 
and shut this down. That tank does get one more shot off before it perishes, but we, we've seen very little damage get done by Veteran, and all of a sudden the Terran bot is incredibly behind against a Zerg bot that has now got a license to drone. I'm not saying that Veteran couldn't have made a push like that work, however, just the fact that it, it got too aggressive with its Marines. The Marines, like, if you're going for a two-base or a one-base tank push, pardon me, it's really got to be all on the tank. So maybe a bit more defensive behavior on the tanks for those Marines would have made them be better, as opposed to veteran veterans' default attacking behavior, perhaps. Uh, maybe, a, maybe a consideration there, but regardless, great hold by Evil Zoe. Those Queens running around really bought a lot of time. And now it's just got a fourth base on the way. Not that it really knows it as a bot, but it will be completely safe to drone for a long time, it would seem. We do have that layer already done for Evil Zoe, so it's getting a Hydra Den on the way. That will be good for it. And Veteran can mack her up now, but it's got a long ways to go. It's just really got up its second base. It's going to take a while to saturate that up fully. Evil Zoe is even taking the gold base, which I love. I wonder if this is an intentional thing or just one of the things that this bot does. But anyway, that gold base on the way now. We've got an armory, a banshee, a cyclone on the way for veteran. As this game continues on. And let's take a look here. What do we have? We've got combat shield plus one for the Terran so it's still making absolutely everything it can off its smaller two base economy but it's really gonna need to get something done and I just I just don't know if a bot no matter which bot if any are able to get enough damage done in the time that it takes to kill a macro up zerg it's usually more war of attrition's that we see the zerg bots fall in the late game once they've got their macro established anyway and so, Veteran's got a long way to go. It is getting up a third base, so this game has got potential to go late here. And that's very exciting. I do love watching an underdog Terran try and survive the Zerg Swarm. Although, Veteran is looking to step out, and that could be a little bit over-aggressive Cyclone. And Marauder's going to be buffering for this tank. The tank gets a good shot off. We see attack results get posted by Zoe. It never let us know it was going for an attack, but I guess that was an offensive move by the Zerg. And now Veteran potentially can make something happen as it is up on supply by quite a margin. In it comes with its tanks. Its Marines are all over the map though, chasing just one or two Zerglings, not doing their job of buffering for these two critical siege tanks. And this could be the weakness of Veteran this game. The tanks are a little bit exposed here. There is the Raven dropping an auto turret. The three Marauders are on the front. Here comes all the Marines. And these bio units do have plus one attack. So there is a chance that Veteran can make some magic happen here, particularly if Evil Zoe throws away all its units. Those tanks are unseaging not to deal friendly fire. That's really good to see. These Marines are shooting away on some of the lings and Evil Zoe is not doing too well in the supply front. Drones are now doing a transition, long distance mining it looks like, but that's not good when this is an active war zone. One base has fallen. I think Veteran needs to get a little bit more damage done here, but there's possibility that the blue bot could actually pull out the win from this one if Evil Zoe does not control its units right. And when it comes to bots, I think the weakest point for all bots is dealing with tanks, but looks like Evil Zoe actually gets a handful of lings on top of these tanks. Looks like there's a bit of friendly fire. The tanks are safe for now, albeit bruised. But yeah, Veteran. Not taking as good care of his tanks as it could do, making me a little bit nervous. However, this attack is still having huge success. This base to the upper right is completely cut off. A fungal growth goes down as Evil Zoe has been committing to all sorts of tech. Corrosive Biles are going down. Looks like those tanks may just fall, and they do. Can these Hydras and Ravagers deal with this bio army, deal with this bio that does not have stim? I imagine they will be able to. The question is, are the losses too big here? for Evil Zoe. It's lost one base. The other base has been shot up quite a bit, but actually still in relatively good standing. The problem is, though, this army is rallying out and could still potentially be a one-sided engagement for either player, and that that's going to be really bad for either player, unless it's just kind of a, a trade-out. We see this one Banshee 
really uncontested in the skies, so expensive Ravagers go down. There's a bit more bio pushing towards the middle, trying to deal with this re-established base here. It's such a messy game right now between these two. All the while this is going on, though, Evil Zoe is mining from its gold base, giving it the money it needs to muster this defense. It's making more Hydras, making Lings, making three hatcheries at a time, which is a bit much if you ask me. This Hydra not dealing with the Banshee either. Banshee cloaks after taking a shot. Cool behavior there. Ravens in the sky as well. Infestor's not really getting too much done. Auto turret gets dropped and Evil Zoe is falling in supply. Not taking a good enough trade against this. And behind this veteran is macroing up. Doing what it needs to do behind the scenes. Getting up a fifth base. Making two tanks at a time. All the tech. All the production. And I think we may actually have our victor here. Veteran making a push work that I wasn't too sure was going to happen, but Evil Zoe's unit management just was not quite good enough, it seems. And I think Evil Zoe went a little hard on the tech, making the infestors the lair. Uh, did get a lurker den and so many hatcheries when it really did just need out more units. It's not over just yet, however, but I am quite concerned. A good fungal goes down as the Terran steps forward. The Hydras are going to start shooting away. One of those medivacs gets popped. Queens stepping forward. They've been a presence this entire game. And there's one tank left. Is it gonna get cleaned up? Looks like the tank will get cleaned up, so Evil Zoe can hang on. However, the army supply is now 25 to 85. Neural Parasite's getting research right now for Evil Zoe. I'm not sure that's what the bot needs. It really just needs more stuff and to consolidate. We see this hatchery now getting shot down. The natural base is potentially gonna fall here looks like it will go down and with that going down I think we do have our victor for this game evil Zoe's a little bit spread out it's still got that gold base going on no counter damage has been done this game though this Terran bot getting away with the orbital commands like it's nothing it's now got a battle cruiser on the way and what a great game this has been from from veteran evil Zoe. I really liked what it was doing I really liked its initial defense of that first push, but when it came to just how much it was trying to expand, it actually was was too much. And so, well done by by veteran for making this making this win happen. Might be a while before it's able to clean up <laughs> everything that belongs to Evil Zoe with it having a base in the upper left and the 12 o'clock position. But I think it is safe to say that this one is over. So, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed this one, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not and you made it all the way to the end of this video, join the Discord, which is linked down below, and consider becoming a YouTube member. There's various perks you can get, and uh, that goes a long way to supporting the channel as we watch Veteran now make every single unit possible for the Terran. We'll see if it makes a ghost. I get the feeling it won't, but it's getting pretty close as it even makes a Hellion. And so, yeah, thanks so much to everyone for tuning in.